Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 96, Profile Form. One of the features that exists in all of the Power Apps Portals templates is the Profile Form. This allows the currently logged in user to modify details on their own contact record. Often, organizations want to change which fields show up on the screen. In this tip, I'll cover what your options are. The first place people look when they're trying to customize the profile page is in the Entity Forms area. However, no matter how hard you look, you won't find an Entity Form for the Profile Form. While the Profile Form does use the same underlying technology to render a form defined in a model-driven app, the Profile page actually uses the older style of rewrite type page templates that is hard-coded to point to the Profile Web Form form of the contact table. So your first option to customize the profile page is to update the profile web form if you want to add or remove fields. There are a couple of other sections on the profile page that don't come directly from that form. Specifically, the How May We Contact You section and the Marketing List Subscription area. The visibility of the How May We Contact You section can be toggled using a site setting called Profile forward slash Show Marketing Options Panel. The marketing list subscription area will be shown if you associate one or more marketing lists with the portal's website record. Beyond that, there are a few content snippets that can be used to customize the various bits of text that appear throughout the page. Another option is to build your own profile page. There's really nothing stopping you from replacing the out-of-the-box profile page with your own page that displays an entity form that you create yourself. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 96 on the profile form useful.